guys can you believe it that all this awesome looking food was made outside in our back garden england authentic adventure <laughs> vegan friendly celiac friendly low carb vegetarian fresh food oh my god delicious it was amazing so stay tuned and watch how we cooked up these culinary design delights <laughs> right here in the back garden welcome back to another outdoor cooking adventure england today we're gonna do something that's suitable for vegans vegetarian celiacs, celiacs um weight reducing diet and low carb want to eat food that cook outside yeah a healthy food today that's the day so yeah welcome. and some um innovation innovations we're gonna try and do with food as well we've never yeah. done before that's true first here all of these one of them is out to try one day last week yeah but all the others first time ever gonna do it so i'm good like that yeah you're gonna love it <laughs> you soon right now fire you hold it down the struggle is on <laughs> yeah the struggle is on but we're kind of winning the battle right now yeah don't look too bad yet if it windy it might have to talk over some might you understand yeah to help us to win the fire lighting battle we found these so if you're in the UK, where did you get this one? Was it Aldi? It sold at Aldi, I know. Last year we yeah. used to buy some at Aldi. I don't remember, but Fire Glow. Or was it be any one of them? Anyway, Fire Glow fire lighters for barbecue, wood burners and open fires. That's it. And it looked like it's doing a good job. So. That's something there. Blossomed already, and they're not going to blossom again. So I might as well cut them out and make way for the, these pretty little ones that are coming up. Pansies, these are pansies. The other day I wanted to remember the name and I couldn't, but these are pansies. Yes, guys, with the cooking today, I'm going to be using three different gadgets, um, equipment or small tools, kitchen tools, even though it's outdoor. So I'm going to be using a Nutribullet, just a blender to blitz everything. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to be using a spiralizer to do some courgette, which Lisa are going to pick from our garden. Yep. And I'm also going to be using a small food processor or chopper these um little recipes are so nice so simple really really simple but so nourishing so nutritious as well so i'm going to experiment i'm sure you're gonna love them and i'll show you as we progress what each thing is i think the fire is ready or almost ready so i'm going to start off with oh i have to roast the red pepper Mwah! that looks nice that's true you're going to just put it on top of the grill to roast it yeah uh -huh. So I need a roasted red pepper. And oh. I need to cut it and take out scoop seed. out the middle. Yeah. And then put the two sides on the grill. Okay, let's give you the first one. I'm going to be making roasted red pepper and garlic hummus. That's a nice one. <laughs> have you ever had hummus? I like it. And they in the supermarkets nowadays they have the plain one and they have yeah, flavoured ones as well. Various so they have um What's this um, onion called? Yeah. Red onion, hummus, garlic hummus, all sorts. I'm going to be making um, roasted red pepper and garlic hummus. Let's see. No, oh, no knife. Show. Gonna no, get a knife. Have. You have knife? No, I can get right, one. Show them. Okay. Right, so these are what we have going on out here. Don't watch the look of this salt. See, this is our outdoor salt. <laughs> look well used outdoor salt um, sesame seeds avocado or pear 
lime, um, chickpeas, olive oil, paprika, um, red lentil, Soap. soaked, soaking overnight. And garlic. Ooh, I'll get that. Your joke at it. Um, escalion or scallion, or or spring onion, some people call. And we also have vegan cheese, so fully vegan. So it's gonna be wicked. All right. Red pepper. Just going to slice it because I don't want the seeds. There you go. It was yes, it's on top of that where the coal is kept, and then that's it. And the next one, that's it. And all the rest of it is good to go. So right now, this is going on the grill. So the, I needed to have a smoky flavor, but also the red, reddish color. color. That's right. And that will intensify when it's roasted. Yeah. So don't worry about it burning, it won't burn. It will have some charred look on it. Yeah. And I'll just wash it, dry it, and that will be blended in my hummus. For the for this again red pepper oh no no, no. this is this, is the new this, invention yeah to make a wrap this is lentils so i've soaked them about half a cup of lentils in water just enough to cover it and it soaked the water up it says you can do it for at least three hours but i've done it overnight so it's been in the fridge and now what i want to do is just to rinse this water off add a little bit more water and salt and then blend it that's going to make a smooth paste and that's going to be big to to make my wrap yeah right so we have, flow, we have in hummus <laughs> and we have in a wrap <laughs> all right ready throw some water on this yeah and then you want some more plain and water want some plain water just to rinse it Oh, watch not in the garden will be happy for this yeah this water, water. because right now these days is hot more yeah. one more and one more for rinse so pour the clean of this So I need a little now to top it up. So this going back in the blender. The goodie. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need to top it up. Need to. More. So guys, you can make a wrap without. This is my Flour. version of a low carb wrap. Yeah. All right, a little salt. No black pepper or anything. The olive no. oil? No. Oh, the, that don't have the olive oil. The olive oil, I go in the hummus. Hey. Yeah, look at nice, look at nice. 
Maybe they have been hearing noise all along from this whooshing breeze. Not true. <laughs> windy, it's a nice summery day. Anyway, look at that first draw. <laughs> Any color There's come on it yet? No? Mm. It's roasting. Don't watch no face. Yeah. Alright. Back to this wrap, um, vegan, um, low carb wrap. Vegan, low carb, celiac friendly, no gluten, that's yeah. celiac friendly. Yeah. And what you want is a smooth paste. So give it another little blend just so it's smooth out. And then just leave it for about 10 minutes. That's it. You think in the meantime we should go get the um oh yes, get the it. next element of the dish. Alright. We'll get it. Alright. Guys, come with me now. I'm going foraging or shopping from my garden. Come. Right, so I have need today of courgette for this recipe. Can you hold my basket, please? You know what? I'm going to cut a leaf to put in my basket. Wow. <laughs> to gather my your produce. Yeah. <laughs> Looks Come nice. On. Stay steady and, and be nice. Yeah. There. And I need one courgette. Yeah, but I think we have two that are ready, so I'm going to. Uh, should I leave these? Leave Here's one. The next one. Right, so. Oh, my lovely courgette. Yeah. And. What else we need? For our inventive um, dish. dish, we need the flower or blossom from the courgette. So I hear something about male blossom and female, and what that mean? Well, the female one is going to have courgette growing on the end of it okay but the male one you just see it on the just so so just so so <laughs> wow guys this is okay. edible Epic. it's very pretty it is edible and it's the first time we're going to try it by the way yeah but we lots of nice people and lots of africans eat it some people said they eat the pumpkin one too we don't have any pumpkin, but we have that. You sure I must cut the other courgette? No, leave it. Okay, so that we can cut them fresh to make our saltfish fritters. Yeah. So that's that. I okay. That leaf to go there to prevent cats coming in. Because so the, the leaf kind of spiky. So it will prevent cats hopefully coming in my garden. But there! Eee! Yeah, looks nice, isn't it? Right, so let's go back. <laughs> All right, checking up on the red peppers. They're going slowly to me now. But I can see water in there, which means it's sort of steaming. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, water. So it's steaming up. And while the, I wait on the... While I wait on the red peppers, I'm going to start on the ingredients for the hummus. Color coming on nicely. I what do I mean? Red peppers. My red peppers already. They've been charred. Yeah. 
yeah. And now I'm going to put my frying pan um, to warm up. But in the frying pan, to make my hummus, I need something called tahini. Hummus? Yeah. Is it the hummus you're making now in um, that? I'm going to toast some sesame seeds okay. to make my tahini to start off with. So tahini is like, you know, when you grind up peanuts to make peanut butter, tahini is sesame seeds ground up to get that paste. So sesame seeds, olive oil and a little salt. So I'm going to add all of that to my hummus, but I want to toast the sesame seeds a little bit first. So, so that's what is going now, in there? I'm yeah. just going to put some sesame seeds and it will toast. Then I'll wash these off. To get rid of the black bits, the black and hold it down a little bit so the peeps can see. No, up a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have the roasted flavor, but I want to get rid of some of the skin. So. Once it cools down, I can get rid of some of it. You don't have to scrape all of it off. Yeah. You can get some of it off to make the hummus. So, back to my pan. I'm going to roast my sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. <laughs> and start the hummus. <laughs> so there's my sesame seeds. Fire is ready. I just want them toasted a little bit. about a tablespoon or so of sesame seeds and because they are tiny seeds you have to watch them or else they burn and I just want it slightly toasty right so come over now and I'll show you how to do the hummus <laughs> why I can't remember these names for the hummus I'm going to use the main ingredient in hummus is chickpeas, chickpeas. so I want to drain this off don't need the strainer i don't need it because you just half open it or a little bit of open yeah i need a little bit oh you know what this liquid is called really good aquafaba yeah aquafaba the liquid in this and it can replace egg, egg white when you're trying to make a meringue you use the same liquid whisk it up and it turns Lit. white and fluffy and frothy and just nice. like, meringue. like a meringue so it's a vegan alternative, alternative yeah so drain most of the water off Are you going to rinse it off as well? No. It doesn't have to be rinsed. Because you could have been adding the aquafaba to it. So why rinse them off? There? Yep. Is that goes in. My toasted sesame seeds not quite ready. But that's going to go in as well. Just don't want it burn. Yeah. But Push it over nice. back on the fire. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For these now, I'll try my best to get out some of this. But it isn't even absolutely vital. This thing should decapitate me. to save that bit for garnish we'll see how it comes up later and you could use store-bought um what do they call these the red pepper red, roasted red peppers oh. there's some in bottles yeah. jars but you can roast it yourself too oh this one is still hot get off some of the charred bits and some of the skin You can see the skin bubbling up, by the way, when it's roasted. And you want to get off some of it, not necessarily all of it. She's stirring my sesame seeds for me. So this is going to give it a slight sweet taste, a nice smoky flavor as well. And that sweet taste from the bell pepper. Okay. More red pepper in. I think Shelly will love this. I think she likes hummus. Okay. Did you do the garlic? Mm -hmm. Right, come back guys when we're ready to put everything in together. Mm 
the juice of one lemon. I was going to say melon, the juice of one lemon. No seeds, so just put your hand there, get the juice in. seed gone in. I'll get that out now. Then the only other thing to add is the garlic, and the, the toasted oil. sesame seeds. Oh and no. Oh yes. And a little olive oil. Yeah. So check back. Okay. Olive oil. A little olive oil in. A little salt or no salt? Yes, a little salt for flavor. And then don't forget the toasted sesame seeds. It's ready? Smell from the sesame seeds. Use that. Sesame seeds really smell nice, toasted. So if you grind this up, this is what they call tahini. Add a little olive oil and a little salt. But I've added the olive oil to this and the salt to this. This pot is going back on because I'm going to start the wrap in, in a minute. So lead on. Plug in. So for the next part of the dish, I'm going to be making some wraps, yeah. right? So remember my blended lentils, just lentils and water and salt blended to make that paste. Pan is hot. Just a little spritz of oil. But I need a spoon. Oh, okay. Can you imagine that people being a wrap? Can't wait to see this. <laughs> so we need a plate. I, I brought a plate out. Okay. So I just want it toasted on one side, then I'll flip it over. Continue to cook it on the other side. And that's going to be a wrap. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good wrap. So guys, you remember my courgette leaves? I'm going to get them washed, dried, and then this is the leftover from my lentil mix for the wrap. I'm just going to add some sparkling water, just plain sparkling water, just a little bit to coat it, and then those will be fried. The oil is on, so these now are going to be washed. I really need to open them out. 
and make sure there are no bugs. So open the petals out like that. Make sure no bugs in it. Give it a rinse, then pat them dry. There's the next one. And just in case we have a guest. <laughs> If one of you come over, there's one for you as well. They all look nice and clean, but I'll still give them a rinse. Shake them, shake off as much water as you can. them dry in some paper towel. Flower and the soda water but because I want it to be celiac friendly that's why I'm trying this. As I said I've not done it before. I don't want much either. Can you see the fizzing? <laughs> Fingers crossed that it works. <laughs> Would you put salt or pepper or anything in it? No. There's a little salt already in the I hope the angle showing in Yeah. And the oil is heating up. <laughs> oh, I think this guy to turn out. I don't know. We won't know until we try. I'll let put it in and run. No. <laughs> First piece going in. Next one going in. It comes. Oh, there's the right on the side. <laughs> People are listening. Fried right, portrait flowers. <laughs> Petals. I'll find a name for it. Courgette fritters. No, because we have courgette fritters already. We mastered that already. There you go. Colors look nice. Plating up coming soon. Tell us what you're going to do now. So I'm going to spiralize my courgette to make my table fancy, but also to get in some fresh nutrients fresh from the garden this project was picked what am i doing wrong joe i would cut it in half first because mm -hmm. it looked like it need to be done but it can't because it's so High. so i'd cut it in half first yeah yeah it's right now Come over here with it. Yeah. Mm. Looks nice. 
think they know how this works now. Have to. I'll try to take off the top or bottom, any one of them. Ooh. Okay. 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 Yeah. I'll get the salt and black pepper, maybe. I'm going to slice up some Violite vegan cheese, the original flavor. So it's not much flavor in this one. Does it look good or does it look good? It does look good. Mmm, cheese smells nice. Yeah, and then to top it off, I want to put a little sprinkling of paprika and olive oil, and a little olive oil as well over the hummus. Okay. Just a little sprinkling of paprika. And what more do you want? Anything else? That's it. Right, let me get a, a pick. So please take up the onion, the oil. No, you can leave the oil. A knife, scissors, and my phone. And the cheese. <laughs> yeah. Orange juice. Oh, yeah. Let's have some orange juice and then we're ready for you guys. Cheers. Boy. <laughs> orange juice. Refreshing on a day like this. So, where do I start? Well, guys, I have tasted this before. Not, I mean, just, just now. now. Yeah. Oh. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm not going to let the others waste. The others that are in the garden, I am going to use them up. Oh. The only thing is I wouldn't do it in so much oil. Yeah. Because it kind of absorb. Yeah. Just the spray oil should be enough. But it is very tasty. And this is the blossom from the courgette. Yeah. Nice. I want to show how I make up one of the wraps. So you want this one or you want the bottom one? This little one. Okay. Well, I, yeah. I would just mine mm -hmm. like this, little bits, oh. just because I'm not a fan of vegan food, I must say it guys. I don't mind. I like the hummus, love the hummus. Here's my wrap and here's what I would do. So I would add a healthy serving of hummus on my wrap. I think that too much people. I don't think so. <laughs> then I would get up some avocado on there too. And mm. the not breaking up, you know, it hold up nice. I want some tomato slices too. I will try to get in some of my frilly frilly. Can you see that? Break off piece of it. Yeah. That go on top. Where's <laughs> me? You have to be able to wrap that cheese. cheese. Vegan cheese. Oh, I'm, I'm me this too. 
Yeah. You want me to put that on yeah. here? Uh, one more. Yeah. And then your cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see you eat that. Who wants to see me? <laughs> Who wants to see this? <laughs> see there? Wrap. Right, let's watch her eat this, guys. Let's Who see if it's this possible. Tush, this tushwe are the not so tushwe. Anyway. I can do is put it down or I can bite it you know yeah for me a little piece of the wrap the um courgette flour which I love put on top one piece of avocado put in the middle of it and go and deal with that no hummus yeah, the hummus is spread on the, oh. on the wrap. The wrap. So here's my take on things. That. I really like the flower. Which flower? The, the flower of the, or the blossom. Mm. Of the courgette. Nice. You try the courgette? No. Can I try it? No. Nothing to try. I take on the only thing I miss is spicy. You must could have done with some pepper, real pepper. That is oh scotch bunny. We have some scotch bunny left from our um red peas. Stew, Stew peas. Taste it. Mm. the wrap hold up nice nice not ripping up or anything oh I forgot the cheese forgot cheese people cheese going in vegan cheese and the rest of the hummus guys all you need to do is pour it out in a jar mm -hmm. keep it in the fridge it lasts at least two to three weeks I like it. Call me crave, but I like it. <laughs> I'm focused on this. This spread looks nice, don't you? Pretty. I like the cordial flower. Did you know that lentils can make wrap? Mm -hmm. wrap there. Nice color, too. I like how the color near to the hummus. I'm eating the raw cordial but I don't taste anything, you know? All the all the flavors blend together well. I don't know which one is what I'm eating. Only one I know is this because it's sort of spongy, sort of soft, the um the wrap. Mm. It's not bad people. <laughs> the truth is not bad. I mean not bad. Not supposed to be bad. We expect it to be worse, mm -hmm. but it's not. This is just because I know I'm not into vegan food. <laughs> oh, maybe vegan food. I kind of have a bias against vegan food. Mm -hmm. You have to have me. Not really. So why you have some vegetable. It tastes like. It tastes nice. Yeah, so. Stupid. Where did we get this vegan cheese from? I need to go in my fridge too. Where did we get it from? I don't remember. They get here, but with supermarket. Morrison's. Mm. Piece of the um, cardiac flour. Mm. 
Fully belly, low carb, vegan friendly, vegetarian, celiac friendly. Celiac friendly, so people who can tolerate gluten. From flour. Perfect. Fresh, fresh ingredients fresh from the garden. Yeah. And now you know how to make your own hummus. I don't miss anything from it. it and also that. your own wrap. Oh yeah. From nut flour. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I tried it. What would I do different? Just spread the pan to do the project, to fry the project flour. And I thought the colors would change and look dull or so. Colors still look nice. Hey. <laughs> what? Tell us in the comments if we should do more vegan things. Or at least vegetarian. Me too. You Bite this and taste it. You want to taste the hummus? Mm -hmm. I just can't to see if it's warm out here. Taste it. Why? You see, if you must wear warm clothes, there are non warm clothes. Warm. <laughs> it's not that warm though, to me. Like, it is warm, but. But it's going to go up to 27. Today? Mm -hmm. right, it's no, 26. 26 I heard on the radio. Tess mm -hmm. almost. Okay. Bring one of your papa down, man. This is where we're going to leave it today. Turn it on you so they can see you. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell them what? <laughs> what did I tell them? Say? Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Say Joe, Lisa, they're Irie. The true. Alright. <laughs> Cheers. See you next time. You still a look at me? <laughs> mm.